Hi, uh, first property which you see when you apply a refer rigid component is this initialization type. And we added this property in build 1.14. Uh, uh, so for now, there are two types of initialization. Uh, first one is by method, and this, uh, this is the default uh, type. And the second one is at start. So if you want to apply rigid uh, component and start play mode and see that your object starts falling down and demolishing, you need to pick this one at start. This is the way it worked before. So when you start play mode, object starts simulates. It gets all the collider, all collide, all the components like collider and rigid body. If you want it to be demolished, you need to set here, let's say, runtime. Next time you will start play mode, it will file and being be, it will be demolished. But the thing is, if you will, let's say, start it uh, as non demolition then start play mode and if you will change the motion type to runtime now it will not be demolished because all these properties have to be initialized uh, first so that was the problem in the previous build because people couldn't uh, add refurgit component because the motion type uh, was known by default then change properties and then demolish it through script so here's a simple uh, example of how you can do this uh, first, first of all, you need to set here by method, and if we will start play mode now, uh, as you can see, object uh, don't have any uh, collider or any rigid body component. But then you can click this initialize, and it will be part of simulation to fall and do the other things. So we can start play mode, change properties, then initialize, and break it. And this is the reference of how it works. So I have this uh, simple script which I will apply to some object. Let's say add rigid component here, and I will point this object as reference. You can do this by your own way. So what it does, it just uh, checks for space uh, key, and if object is defined, it creates rigid component, add it to this object then set its properties and then using this method initialize it finally initializes it and object become a part of simulation and ready to be demolished so i will remove i will remove this refurgit component here and this time i have just one object it only has mesh render and mesh filter so i will start play mode and now uh, this initialization object will apply a rigid component with properties I defined and initialize it. When I will click space button like this. So this is the way uh, to add refer rigid component inside your code to your object. Then you can set uh, properties which you want. Uh, and then finally manually initialize it. And so it will become part of simulation. It will get all components. Uh, to start coroutines which need uh, for, it, for it to work and so on uh, so i guess uh, that's it with initialization uh, thank you for watching